You sound a bit cold there. You good? Mm. Uh, I gotta drag your ass now because you got frostbite, you moron. Oh, hello there. Seems you stumbled into a JMT video. You got nothing better to do, huh? Shut up, you're bald. While you're here, let's discuss the new map. Referencing the Battle of Berezina near Studienka, Russia, which took place from the 26th to the 29th of November in 1812. In this frigid map, your primary objective is to build a bridge in the sub-zero frosty weather while surviving the undead. Many past soldiers can be seen frozen in this map due to the piercing cold of this bitter climate. And along with the weather, the zombies on this map have a new look as they are shown to be exposed in the cold for a long period of time, almost being frozen. And before we do hop into the objective point of this map, let's talk about the weather and how for the first time in Guts and Black Powder, this will affect your gameplay as hypothermia is being introduced. Um, actually, GMT, the first map with the Frostbite effect was like the old Vardo Hus map. I don't know how you get that wrong. This is why no one watches your game. So we have a new cold debuff here, and it says, as you remain outside in the harsh blizzard, your health will trickle away. So while you're freezing your ass off, your actions will be slowed, such as your movement and your swing speed, and being cold for too long will kill you. And in the process of your character getting colder, there will be a white vignette around the border of your screen that will progressively get more white as you get more cold. And if you're wondering if there is a difference from dying to hypothermia and the speed that it takes from being on land compared to being in the water, then you would be correct. You do die faster in the water to hypothermia than if you were on land. On land, it takes about 4 minutes and 20 seconds from when the cold debuff gets applied to when you die to hypothermia. And if you're in the water, it takes about a minute and 40 seconds from the cold debuff being applied to fully dying from hypothermia. So dying from hypothermia in the water is 300% faster than dying to hypothermia on the land. So find somewhere to warm them footsies of yours, preferably in the houses stationed around the map. Now, to get super technical, I did have a short discussion with Fez about the damage being applied at a specific time, and there is a formula. To keep it short and simple, we're gonna start at 100 heat. That is what our character is at. And we start taking damage at negative 1,000 heat. In the air, every four seconds is negative 18 heat. And in the water, every four seconds is negative 60 heat. So if we combined our 100 heat with the negative 1,000 heat, equaling a total of 1,100, we can divide that total by our two numbers, 18 and 60, and then we take those solutions and multiply them each by four seconds, we would get our exact amount of seconds where we would start to take damage in the air and in the water to the cold. And don't worry, I did the math for you. In the air, it takes around 244 to 248 seconds to start taking damage from the cold. And in the water, it takes around 72 to 76 seconds to start taking damage from the cold. And that is enough math for one video. Let's move on. And to help with the warmth is a whole new look to the regiment outfits. Definitely got the Jujutsu Kaisen vibe going on. These give you the comfortability of a dapper fit and a toasty demeanor. Very suitable for this new map. Now, onto how everything bleeds together. Or aka the objective portion to this map. Look, ramps! We can use these as ramps! Fuck you, Tim. At the beginning of the map, a new NPC will drop off logs for you to use to construct the bridge, which is your main goal here. At the entrance of the bridge, a claw hammer can be obtained and used for slapping the wood together. And if you're already playing as the sapper class, then your hammer will suffice. To construct the bridge, five logs are needed to build each portion. Constructing each portion of the bridge is very simple, I'm not gonna lie. Prompts will pop up showing you where the next log placements will be, and you simply just go up, place the log, and tap each into place. Kind of like the sapper, how he builds barricades, or whatever the fuck a sapper builds. As you do place these logs and tap them in, there'll be five taps for each of the base logs, three taps for the one across, and then three taps for the ones that are connecting to the main portion of the bridge. And as you do tap them in, you can visually see the logs being put into place. So if you got two logs that are placed, but you don't see the prompt to place the next one, it's probably because your team or you did not properly tap the log into place all the way. So make sure you're checking that. And then and doing all of this consecutively will start to build the bridge piece by piece. It's also to note on the side of the bridge as it is being constructed, ladders will appear as checkpoints. This will help you get back on the bridge if fallen off or tackled off. The shivering water does slow you down, so it would be best to get back onto God's green earth or white earth in this sense. While you are in the water, if that ever happens, make sure you watch out for the floating icebergs as they are not your friendly neighbors from down the street. 
it does like one tenth of your health. I think you'll be okay. Multiple trips will need to be done by the new NPC in order to get all of the logs to build the bridge because there's not going to be enough on the first drop. Matter of fact, he's going to be doing a lot of drops. So get ready for a long objective game. And in between these trips that the new NPC makes, there will be hordes of zombies and some stragglers throughout, which progressively get more difficult. And after you do fully complete the bridge, the supply crew will cross, which we got two horses out in front. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Napoleon's carriage. And then the final carriage right behind it. However, halfway through, as the last carriage is crossing, a section of the bridge breaks and you do have to repair it. After you do repair this section, they will continue crossing the bridge and the map is complete. And to successfully escape, you have to go to the back of the last carriage that crosses the bridge and it says, you have escaped. And there is a new badge called Berezinolide. I think that's how you say it. If that's not how you say it, I don't really give a shit. Successfully build or defend the Berezina Bridge. This is the first objective map where you are rewarded a badge without having to survive in one life. Instead, a contribution system replaces it. Your contribution score is a total tally of the progress you put in during the map. And if you do have a high enough score and your team successfully constructs the bridge, then you will be awarded the Berezinolide Badge. Contribution score can be acquired through log placement, logs given, repairing, healing, and getting kills during the map. Your contribution score will also go towards the amount of francs you are rewarded, so make sure you watch out for that too. No more slacking off peasants, you, you have, have to construct the bridge. If you guys do happen to die in the map, then don't worry, the respawns do happen every time a new, fresh set of logs pile on in. This map definitely will be more challenging and more time consuming compared to the other objective maps, and that's what the new holdout mode brings to the table of an alcoholic family. What map is this? This is the, uh, the Vard remake, I'm just playing. This is one of the new maps. That'll arrive in the update. Berezina, Berezina, however you want to pronounce it. No one's going to judge you. And if anyone does, hey, don't give a shit. But for those who are just joining and you're new, your main ob objective is to build a bridge in this weather. And you got to survive endless. It's kind of like a, a mix of endless and objective. That is your primary goal. There'll be this guy that drops off logs for you to use. And in between the log trips, there'll be uh, rounds of zombies that approach. How long is this map? This is going to be probably the longest map in the game. This is definitely going to be like a... A 30 minute to 40 minute map because it does take a while to complete this but i like that i don't know about you guys i kind of like a longer map what, what do you guys think i kind of like that okay um this round's probably gonna be difficult this is what we died on last time ah! everyone in the house or, or just build out front make sure you uh, use the barricades you you don't gotta be no hero okay you can stay behind cover oh they spawn in the graves right in front here i did not know that now i do we're um halfway done with the bridge we're actually over halfway done so this is good is this supposed to be french or russian you can actually play as um i'm pretty sure it's both because you can play as the french we have um bavaria and french empire that you can play as bro they got hello what is happening to the carriage did i oh my barricades okay y'all we got another um another set of logs coming in Amazon Prime is is doing us good. All right. Yo, give me a log, someone. All right, there we go. I can't see. Who is the character? Who is who character? The NPC? No name. There's no names. I don't think they'll have any names for the characters because they got randomized cosmetics every time they arrive. So it's like a new people every time. Just swim across the lake. That's what I'm saying. You can make it to the other side without even building the bridge, but you know objective stuff you'll see why we have to build the bridge okay i just thought about that you'll see why okay we got some barricades in the house just in case we get overran just in case oh my god they, it, they blew up already another one jump out the window no it can't be it can't be over yet Get out of here. W work, ladies and gentlemen. What? You freeze to death if you don't go to the... Yeah, so as you can see right now on the bottom left, we got a cold debuff. If we stay outside for too long, we'll eventually take damage. So we have to go inside and, and warm up. And it's probably hard to tell, but when you do get like really cold, if you stay out here for too long, your uh, swing speed will get decreased a little bit. I'm pretty sure they kept that in. Actually... Oh my God, zombies! Get back up! Get back up! Get. Ba I did not know they were spawning already. Okay, get, this this horde's about to be really tough, so get ready. Oh, oh the runner fell off the ladder. <laughs> okay, I think the runners are having a little bit of uh, issues when they climb up the ladder, so that's... I don't even know if they can fix that. That's one thing. They customize the the lance flag, and the officer saber has um a sword that gets customized. I... 
I am so sorry, dude. We cooking. I mean, we already lost once. We're trying to win again. Or we're trying to win, not win again. We didn't win yet. I don't know if you guys have seen, but the zombies, um, the zombies are customized now, so they'll have outfits. On this map, it's you know, kind of hard to tell because they look really frozen. Should be more difficult to tell. You know, pick apart a zapper from a crowd. That guy got tackled off the bridge. I'm cooked. I'm gonna freeze to death. I need to get back inside, but it's so far away. There's way too many zombies. Am I the... How many? Okay, we got plenty of people alive. I'm gonna die this match, but that's okay. I'm just gonna try to bring all the zombies over here. You think gas lamps would work as pocket fire pits there was something that was uh being talked about whether or not they should have like a mobile heat source but i don't think they're gonna do that i think they want this map to be really difficult and it is bro this is like the most team oriented map in the game right now this map uh definitely takes like at least half an hour to complete but we're look at we're almost to the end look at how close we are i'm gonna say this might be the last supply drop if not just one more i don't think grape shots being added no i saw that question earlier i'm so i'm sorry i didn't answer no grape shot there's cannons on this map but I highly doubt they're even going to get used. Zombies are spawning. Doing this without dying? Dude, that's going to be... That is tough already, dude. Just being this map in general, that is tough. But doing it in one life, that is going to be... um, That'll be something to boast. Camping on the bridge is, is okay and all, but I, I think right here, this is nice because you're right next to houses as well. You don't have to... um, You don't have to go in here, by the way, to warm up. You can go in any of the buildings to warm up, guys. It's as long as you're indoors. That is um, how you warm up. There is a lot of wood. Make sure... If you can't place, we have to back everything up. All right. There we go. I can't stay in the water any longer. I'm going to freeze. I'm already chilly, bro. I got to get back. Are you French? Because I fall for you. Okay. Smiling face with hearts. Now, you know what? That Smiling was clean. That was hearts. clean, EA. Sm Dude, we um we still need a log. Anyone got logs? All right, here we go. This is the last part. We need three logs. That's all we need. I don't think anyone else brought logs. We're all over here and they're zombies. Bro, all of the people who didn't bring a log over when they walked over here, you just threw. Run! <laughs> Get out of my way! Push through, guys. Push through. I'm gonna die. We need to get inside. Get, get out of the way! Move! Wow, we actually got back. That is insane. Oh, yeah. we. Oh, yeah. Get them logs over. Oh, actually, are they still spawning? Yo, hang on. Oh, I don't think they are. Bring the logs. Guys, we're almost done. The, build, the bridge is gonna be completed. Oh, okay. We did it. The emperor is crossing. Protect him. Okay, here we go. So we built the bridge. We gotta wait for the emperor to cross now. First time, I'll say it again. Huh? Ah! Do you want to watch a movie or can we make our own? What is Napoleon's? <laughs> okay, here they come. They're crossing the bridge. They're cross. Ah! Bro, if this bomber don't, if this bomber don't move his fat ass. Okay, guys, I I'm under the cart. Another section of the bridge just got destroyed, so we have to build this now. You see the log placements down there? All right, we need more wood. We need more wood. Good evening, JMT. Nice to see you again. Okay, there we go. Hang on, we built it. I'm I'm missing so many messages right now. I'm sorry. Hang on. Okay, the the bridge is built. To start a morning than a JMT stream of me right. Brought these messages at at the wrong time. Bro, hey God, cross the bridge. Here I'll pay that guy. We did it. Bill. We did it. We did it. We did it. Okay. Okay. So we had the horses crossed. We had Napoleon cross. And then the people that were helping with the logs, I'm pretty sure. We had to rebuild the bridge for them. And then you just cross right here. And that's the end of this map. Dude, how, how long was this map, dude? Oh my God.